So on this channel, I try and publish reviews and tutorials, but today I would just, I would just like to rant and complain. But I think that it's a complaint that most of you have as well. I'm, I'm fairly cynical about big tech companies. I, I hate the way they try and portray themselves as eco warriors when they're the opposite. And that leads me on to my complaint, which is throw away, throw away tech. Tech that just has to be thrown away in the bin. I think over the last 15 years, we've obviously made a lot of improvements. You know, I've got the new iPad Pro here. It's amazing. It's amazing what it can do. But one of the biggest things I've hated over the last 20 years or so is the fact that so much tech just cannot be repaired. Um, I'll give you an example of this because this is kind of what uh, inspired me to do this video. This is the, an old Microsoft Surface Pro. Still performs great. And this is the micro, Microsoft Stylus. So this is a stylus. It's been a great little stylus. And one of the coolest things about this is that this is powered with one quadruple A battery. Very cheap to replace, but this battery will last in this stylus for about a year or so. So fantastic. And it's not a particularly big stylus. It's still fairly thin, in my opinion. But as I purchased the iPad Pro, I decided to buy some other pencils, pens, styluses, whatever you want to call them. I picked up that kind of cheap Ugreen one for £30, and I picked up the Pencil Pro as well. I'm not an artist. I'm just curious as to whether I can utilize these for note taking. Now, £30 here in the UK, £130. But one thing you'll notice about both of these, the Pencil Pro that just came out and this Ugreen one that can be charged with Type C, is that these batteries cannot be replaced. You, there's no battery here. There's no easy way to replace it. Now, that's common. If you've got an iPhone, an iPad or something like that, you can go to Apple and you can change the battery. Of course. Well, not here. I was looking at it online and, I mean, I was aware of this, but it's just something that annoys me. You can see the title here. Can Apple Pencil second gen battery be repaired? This is applicable to all of the pencils. But it's this part here, which I think is worth noting. If the pencil battery has failed, the only remedy is to replace the pencil. An Apple Pencil is sealed. Other than changing the user replaceable tip when worn, the pencil cannot otherwise be serviced or repaired. It's ridiculous. And you can see here that the, the reason someone's posted this is they had it in a cupboard for six months. It's now at 0% and it cannot even be charged. And the response is, well, if it's out of water, warranty, you are screwed. So that's obviously Apple that designed this product. And Apple have done the same thing with their earphones. And I'm singling out Apple here, but I shouldn't because this is something that lots of tech companies do, big and small. And it's just something I hate. I think it's going to get better over the next few years. The EU are kind of trying to kick ass on this front, trying to make it so that laptops and, and tablets and different things are easier to repair, easier to replace. But as it stands just now, you can spend a ridiculous amount of money on pencils and earphones and tablets and other things. And when the battery dies, you're out of luck. Throw it in the bin. It is nothing more than a paperweight at that point. It's just the situation we're in. Don't have an answer to it. I just thought I would rant. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time. Take care.